Hello to everyone, this is Adventure Story and today I have for you a nice, nice item to discuss because there is a lot of fun in marine engineering. First of all, I like to tell you that today we will talk about fuels and one fuel which is new in industry. Uh, this fuel was discovered by BP or Shell, I don't know exactly, but I listened some of these two brands and they make one fuel with name RMD80. First of all, I like to tell that this fuel I have experience uh, to handle and I will tell you some facts about this fuel. This fuel is, first of all, it's ultra sulfur. That means the sulfur content of this fuel is very, very low. Okay, that, that's why we call it ultra sulfur. Ultra low sulfur. And what I saw in this fuel is the incompatibility with other fuels uh, as they say, okay, as they say in the instructions also that there is incompatibility in this fuel. And uh, we need to follow the instructions because you never know what happens. This is chemistry. The fuel, the new fuel they make, there is from refineries, the process they make, this is chemistry and we are not chemistry, okay, chemistry <laughs> in the ship. We are marine engineers. And I like to share my experience with you. Uh, this kind of fuel, if uh, when we take banking, okay, if uh, the temperature is lower than 30 degrees and the drops fall down, it became like grease. This is uh, very interesting. It's like wax. Also, uh, the temperature in the line must be to burn an engine, okay? To be 70, not more than 72, no less than 65 or 60, because also higher is unstable and lower is unstable. And one more thing that you must to carry on when you make change over from fuel to RMD is that uh, you need to close your tracings. Uh, the heat, no, in the tracings you must leave. The tracings must be left on the filters when you change from heavy filter to RMD80 because these tracings will keep your uh, filters the automatic auto backwash filters uh, working. You must close the steam to the heating, okay, for the heaters because you do not need to heat the fuel to 140 degrees, it's enough uh, 70 degrees. And uh, the tracing, be careful, this is the point the old history about that the tracing on the filters must be on if for some reason you close the tracing of uh, the filters okay not all backwash filters the fuel will be stuck there and you will have clogged filters every 15 minutes okay and after that, this 15 minutes will keep about for 2 hours and after 2 hours 
the time will be longer but if you keep your filters hot maybe you will not need to clean any filter and remember before you make any changeover from one fuel to another it's better to clean your filters your local generator filters your fuel pump filters because when you change from high sulfur okay to low sulfur or diesel or marine diesels everything remaining parts from fuel the dirty will be washed away from the heaters and will be transferred to the system to the filters and everywhere okay as you can understand when you heat your automatic filters you change also the viscosity of liquid and the liquid uh, it's when it's cold it's more difficult to pass from from the filters okay this also helps when the filter is little hot and what else you must be careful the procedure must be slow but not slow enough uh, I believe about one and a half hour to two hours it's uh, enough so when you change over from high school uh, high school fuel the normal fuel okay heavy fuel oil, to lower fuels uh, great that uh, marine diesels and RMD uh, you must lower the temperature there is a low that says uh, per minute to degrees it's okay this kind of temperature reduce or increase will not damage your system your piping system your machineries your mechanical seals and gears of the pump also uh, as you can understand your uh, machineries will expand and uh, shrunk as the temperature plays okay up and down but the most common problem with this temperature virus is uh, that mechanical steel is broken and some o-rings on the heavy fuel oil line close the generators okay they also damaged so be ready to replace your o-rings and be sure that you not have any leakages of fuel never mix different grade of fuels because you do not know what will happen what will occur try to avoid mix even small amounts of fuel okay and what else i like to tell that be always ready have uh, more filters clean have spare filters so you can take out one filter and put another to not lose time and that is if you have any comments about the fuel what to be careful maybe i forget something uh, you're free to ask me thank you for watching this was adventure story bye bye